world <laughs> and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV. I am your host Mecca. If it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life, then you're in the right place my friend. In this episode we are speaking about sexual development, healing development. And the topic of this video is, hmm, I don't have a topic. I didn't even plan this video. This is coming from the heart. So I want you to come a little closer. Yeah, come a little closer, just a little closer. This is for my ladies, men too. You might wanna to listen to this. So I wanna start off by saying I was on a journey, right? Because if most of you haven't been following me here at Mecca Mastery TV, then you probably don't know my background, where I come from, dysfunctional family, you know, being molested between the ages of five to eight years old, losing my virginity at 11, start selling my body at 16, becoming an exotic dancer for seven years, alcoholic and I really just damaged myself in my womb, in my spirit, in my aura sexually. And it took me years, it took me so much time to remove that energy from my being and from my body and my aura. And I realized most of the time that I, why I was not moving ahead in life was because of the things that, that I was putting inside of my body and the people that I was putting inside of my body. So this message is definitely for my women that we are divine creatures. We are healing creatures. We are the earth. The earth is us. We are in a, so in alignment with this universe. And our men, especially, our men are not awakening, are not awakened, are not thriving because we're not thriving. Because we allow demonic things into our possessions. We allow demonic energies into our bodies, into our spirit, into our aura. And I want you to know that until you start to heal yourself, humanity will not heal. So as women, we all run around, we wonder why things are not going how we want them to. How, why are we not being nervous? nurtured the way we should be nurtured, why well, things are not moving the way they should move in our life or how we think they should or how we want them to. But the truth is that they will not do that until we learn how to love ourselves first and nurture ourselves. So I wanted to say this because when I started to go within myself and detox those negative demonic energies that I've allowed to come into me from other people, especially men that did not have the greatest intention of me. I began to heal myself and become, by me healing myself and loving myself, I put love out into the world and more love started to create into my life in other areas, in other places and commun communities and anything that I touch. So you, my friend, that's watching this, man or woman, anything that's going to come out of you is only what's in you. And if you don't have that love, that healing and that nurturing, that cleanliness in you, then what you going to expect for it to come out of you? And we always expect for things outside of us to work greatly, but little do we do, or little do we know, is that that's not how it works. It does not work like that. It does not work like that. Well, how it works is whatever inside is what's gonna come out on the outside. So here's my, my advice to you. Stop letting a demonic dick inside of you, or even vaginas, if you're, you know, girl and girl. Even men, stop allowing yourself to lay down with a woman who is broken into pieces. You know, because sex is a transferring of energy. So if you keep transferring these negative energies back and forth, the chain has to be broken somewhere, and then you give this negative energy to this person, and then that person will have sex with this person. Now they got the energy, and that person and that person got the same negative energy, and they have sex when they just, just, oh my God, it's just a hot mess. Do yourself a favor. Do humanity a favor by learning to go within yourself, cleanse yourself, heal and nurture yourself because what's inside of you can only come outside of you. And then once you bring everything outside of you, within, sorry, once you bring everything that's inside of you, outside of you, you will see everything on the outer level of your life begin to change. Because your outside, the outside of your life, the external things in your life, it's only a reflection of what's inside of you. And usually the reason why you are down how you are in life is because you have so much negative sexual energy stored within yourself. As human beings, we're like hard drives. I mean, people understand this and you know, you know, in the way of food. Whatever you put into your body has to come out. You have to urinate, you have to let your feces out. That's the only way things are gonna process to your body. You don't eat for it to stay. When it stays, you get bloated, you get big, you get fat, and you cause diseases. It's the same thing when you let certain energies into yourself, men into you. Anything that does not belong there into you, it stays stored unless you intentionally draw it out of you. When you start to draw that out of you, honey, baby, girl, you're gonna be flowing in life. 
I want to see you thrive because I know you can. You got it in you. You are a queen. You need to act like one, be like one, heal like one. Take that time out for yourself because guess what? You can't give somebody something that you ain't got. So give it to yourself so you can give it to others. And I hope you share this with another queen, even another king. Men need to hear this as well. I'm sending my love, my energy, and my peace and my gratitude your way. I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. Make sure you email me at meccabookings at gmail.com or click the link in the description box below and schedule your free consultation today. Until next time, I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, wait a minute. And like we always see here at Mecca Mastery TV, we encourage you to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life. So you go out into the world, you kick a whole lot of action. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything because you can do whatever you put your mind to. I love you. Go out there and put that crown on your head like it's supposed to and be a motherfucking queen. Peace. <laughs>